In today's lecture, we will stage the thyroid cancer. So, staging is done according to the TNM staging. So, here we will start with the T stage that is the size of the tumor. So, as we know that starting with the T0 stage, the T0 stage is no tumor stage. Then comes the T1 stage. Now, here T1 stage is when the size of the tumor is less than or equal to 2 centimeter which is limited or within the thyroid gland. So, the tumor is of 2 centimeter and within the thyroid gland. But this T1 stage is again subdivided into T1A and T1B stage. So, let us see the T1A stage. In T1A stage, the size of the tumor is less than 1 centimeter and it is within the thyroid gland. Now, the statement of mine that it is within the thyroid gland means that it has not invaded the other parts or other structures in the neck region. The next is the T1B stage where the size of the tumor is more than 1 centimeter but less than or equal to 2 centimeter and is within the thyroid gland. It has not invaded the other structures. Next comes the T2 stage. In T2 stage, the size of the tumor has become more than 2 centimeter, but it is less than or equal to 4 centimeter and it is also within the thyroid gland or it is limited to the thyroid gland. Then comes the T3 stage. The T3 stage is when the size of the tumor is more than 4 centimeter and is limited to thyroid gland or if it extends beyond the thyroid gland, then it has invaded only the strap muscles. Okay. Now, this T3 stage is again subdivided into T3A and T3B. Now, T3A as the first part of this T3 is that the tumor size is 4 centimeter or more than 4 centimeter and is limited to thyroid gland and T3B is when there is invasion of the strap muscles from a tumor of any size. Now, T3B has reached a stage where the size of the tumor can be of any size. Then comes the T4B. Now, in T4B, it invades along with the thyroid gland into the major structures and T4 is again subdivided into T4A and T4B. So, in T4A, as we have mentioned that major neck structures are being invaded. So, the major structures invaded are larynx, trachea, esophagus, recurrent laryngeal nerve. The soft tissues are invaded by the tumor of any size. Always do remember this. The major structures are invaded by tumor of any size. Then comes the T4B. In this, the tumor has invaded the prevertebral fascia, the carotid artery, the mediastinal vessels from the tumor of any size. Okay, Do remember these. Now, moving forward, the next is the N stage or the nodal involvement. So, in N0 stage, there is no lymph node involvement as we all know. But this N0 stage is again subdivided into N0A and N0B. So, in N0A, there is histological confirmation of benign lymph nodes. There is histological confirmation of benign lymph nodes while in N0B, there is clinical evidence of loco regional lymph node metastasis. So, from N0B only, there is metastasis occurring. So, moving ahead, then comes the N1. N1 is when already N0B there is evidence of loco regional metastasis. So, when we come to N1 stage, there is metastasis occurring to the regional lymph nodes. Now, this N1 is again subdivided into N1A and N1B. N1A is when metastasis occurring to the level 6 and 7 lymph nodes, which can be unilateral or bilateral. Now, the sixth level includes the Delphian lymph nodes. 
okay this sixth level is the delphian lymph nodes and seventh level is the pretracheal or paratracheal lymph nodes then comes the n1b when there is metastasis occurring in the unilateral or bilateral or even contralaterally in the neck region lateral to the lymph nodes this is occurring lateral to the lymph nodes and these lymph nodes includes the other lymph nodes the other lymph nodes can be level 1 2 3 4 and 5th level all these are included in n1b stage then comes the last is m stage that is the metastasis stage so as we know that m0 is no distant metastasis and m1 is the positive distant metastasis occurring now this tnm staging had a major update in 8th ajcc classification so in differentiated thyroid cancer which includes the papillary thyroid cancer the follicular thyroid cancer and the herthel cell cancer there are few changes occurring so starting with the first change the cut off age for staging has been increased from 45 to 55 years for diagnosis and what is the importance of changing this age it is changed as according to the initial classification the cut off age was 45 years so the patient below the 45 years of age had good prognosis while the patients who were above 45 years had bad prognosis but now as the cut off age has been increased to 55 years so according to this the patients who are less than 55 years have good prognosis while the patients who are more than 55 years of age have bad prognosis now moving to the next update when there is minor extra thyroidal extension that is as i have mentioned in the t stage that the tumor has invaded the strap muscles earlier it was staged under t3 stage now it has shifted to t3 b stage that means that t3 is subdivided into t3 a and t3 b okay so accordingly t3 a is a new category which i have already discussed that the tumor is more than 4 cm but it is confined to thyroid gland while the t3 b as i have mentioned has started invading the strap muscles so these are the two new subdivisions of t3 stage then comes an other update which is not of much importance but we should know the patients which are less than 55 years n1 disease is staged under stage 1 category okay it is staged under stage 1 category while patients which are more than 55 years are staged under stage 2 category and the last change is the level 7 lymph nodes were previously classified under n1b stage as lateral neck lymph nodes has now been reclassified under the update that it will be classified under n1a stage which is the central neck lymph nodes to be more anatomically consistent it will be more anatomically consistent so these six major updates are for differentiated thyroid cancer another major update specifically for the anaplastic thyroid cancer staging is that previously all the anaplastic thyroid cancers were classified under t4 disease but now it will be classified under same as differentiated thyroid cancers it will be according to same like we have classified right now as the differentiated thyroid cancers now after understanding the classification and the major updates we will now move forward and discuss some syndromes that are associated with the thyroid cancer so let's study them one by one first one is the fab or the familial adenomatous polyposis coli and this is associated with the papillary thyroid cancer and it is due to the apc gene mutation on chromosome 5 now here i want to point this that all these syndromes can be asked in the exam and has been asked previously in the exam 
सो काइंडली रिमेम्बर ऑल दीज सिंड्रोम्स एंड डू रिवाइज दीज सिंड्रोम्स ऑल्सो फॉर द एग्जाम ना मूविंग फॉरवर्ड विद द गार्डनर सिंड्रोम विच इज अ वेरियंट ऑफ फेमिलियल एडिनोमेटिस पॉलिपोसिस कोलाय एंड इट इज मेनली एसोसिएटेड विद द फॉलिकुलर थाइड कैंसर then comes the werner syndrome which is associated with the papillary thyroid cancer follicular thyroid cancer and herthel cell cancer and it occurs due to wrn1 gene it is also been asked in the exam and it is the adult progeroid syndrome the fourth syndrome is the men2 syndrome which is associated mainly by the medullary thyroid cancer which occurs due to RET gene the red gene that is the cause of men syndrome now then comes the cowden syndrome and what is cowden syndrome now this cowden syndrome we have already discussed even in the breast cancer lecture so we can say that cowden syndrome is seen both in breast cancer and thyroid cancer along with this this cowden syndrome is a gastrointestinal polyps and it occurs due to ptn gene on chromosome 10 and this has been asked in the exam also and it is associated with follicular thyroid cancer and papillary thyroid cancer and last one is the mckeown's albright syndrome which is associated with the thyroid cancer and is the fibrous dysplasia occurring in thyroid cancer then lastly is the carney complex which is also called as the batman syndrome it is also called as the batman syndrome which is associated with the breast adrenal gland thyroid gland atrial myxoma and nevus and this occurs due to gamma ppar gene mutation keep remembering all these for exam purpose now this brings us to the end of thyroid cancer staging and the syndromes which are associated